The tendency for electrons to form interference fringes when you put them through two slits, but arrive in little blobs, leads some people to describe them as having a wave-particle duality, as though they're confused. But if we just give up the baggage of whether it's a wave or a particle, an electron is an electron. It is what it is, and we're learning about its properties. Let's just think about those properties. So in order to make an interference pattern, it has to go through two slits at once. If you cover up one of the slits, you don't get an interference pattern in the end. You just get the blobs appearing in a smear. If you cover up the other slit, same. Only when they're both open at the same time, even if you're only putting one electron through at a time, that's the only time you get that interference pattern. So somehow each electron is individually knowing about both slits. But they're also arriving in blobs. So either we've got some kind of method of blobs knowing mysteriously whether the other slit is open, or it's actually traveling as a wave, and then for some reason becoming a blob. And if you look at which slit it's going through, so if you just, rather than covering up a slit, you just look, then it turns out that also makes the interference pattern go away. And so the final conclusion that we came to for quantum mechanics is that an electron is a wave, but when you look at it, that wave function collapses and gets very small. And so you get a very small wave uh, when you look at it. And the tendency for things to change their behavior when you look at them makes a lot of people very uncomfortable. And if you're uncomfortable with that idea, you're in very good company.